Welcome to Social Justice Ireland's presentation on Budget 2020 and your community. This part of the presentation will give a brief look at the highs and lows of Budget 2020. For more detail, see our Budget 2020 analysis and critique available on our website www.socialjustice.ie. Budget 2020 Revenue and Expenditure the chart on the left shows the main sources of government revenue in Budget 2020. Income tax accounts for 31% of all revenue. VAT accounts for 20%. Corporation tax accounts for 13%. And social insurance, or PRSI, accounts for 17%. The chart on the right shows the main areas of government expenditure in Budget 2020. Social protection and employment supports, such as pensions, child benefit and job seekers payments, account for 21.1 billion euro. Health expenditures account for 18.3 billion and education accounts for 11.1 billion. Housing. The housing budget has reached unprecedented levels of 2.5 billion. However, the majority of this package will not be spent on building homes. Rather, it will continue to provide subsidies to private landlords in the form of the housing assistance payment to high income first time buyers through the help to buy scheme and to providers of emergency homeless accommodation. What is being provided in respect of capital, that is the 1.1 billion for social housing, while welcome, equates to 100,000 for each of the 11,000 proposed units. This is less than half what Minister Murphy has determined to be the cost of building a fully serviced home and less than a third of the cost to purchase an affordable home. Social Justice Ireland believes these numbers simply aren't credible. Healthcare. Social Justice Ireland welcomed the provision of free dental for under sixes and the free GP care for under eights, but this is subject to GPs agreeing to the extension of the scheme. We also welcome the 97 million additional allocation for older person services, including the 1 million extra home care hours. However, these hours are not sufficient to clear the existing waiting list which stands at over 7,200 people at the current inadequate level of service. The rollout of Sláinte Care has also been grossly underfunded. The plan calls for an infrastructure investment of 3 billion over five years. This was not delivered in Budget 2020. Finally, as has been the case in previous years, the detail provided in the health budget points to a lack of overall transparency in this department. The numbers just don't add up which should not be acceptable in such a key expenditure area. In terms of taxation, Brexit loomed large over Budget 2020. We do, however, welcome the increase in the rate of stamp duty on non-residential property transactions, the increase in the home care or tax credit and the closure of certain tax avoidance loopholes. However, there remains much to be done. There was no review of tax reliefs, which overwhelmingly favour those on higher incomes no introduction of a site value tax, and the Special Assignment Relief Programme, which benefits high-income employees, was retained. Fundamentally, there was very little in the tax package in Budget 2020 to benefit the most vulnerable. Education. We know that Ireland is facing significant demographic pressures at all levels of the education system, requiring significant increases in both capital and current expenditure. Budget 2020 did make improvements for school going children with special needs by allocating funding for an additional 1000 special needs assistance, 400 special education classes and 1300 additional special class places. It also provided for additional funding for apprenticeships and an additional 150 teacher posts. However, there was no reduction in teacher pupil ratios and no increase in DESH funding, both of which affect disadvantaged areas the most. It is also unclear what target training and supports will be provided to older workers whose jobs are at risk sectors. Social protection. Budget 2020 prioritised businesses over vulnerable people. This is nowhere more evident than in the social welfare package. While job seekers rates were equalised for those aged 25 and in limited circumstances for those aged 18 to 25, there was no change in the primary welfare rates which risks further entrenching households already experiencing poverty. Social Justice Ireland welcomes the targeted increase in the qualified child increase, which goes some way to addressing the additional cost burden of children over 12, the targeted increase in the living alone allowance and the increase in the fuel allowance. 
However, with no increase in pension rates and no cost of disability payment, the most vulnerable will remain in or at risk of poverty. Work, unemployment and job creation. There is an unacceptably high instance of low paid employment in Ireland with 110,000 people at work at risk of poverty. Social Justice Ireland considers it very unfortunate that government has chosen not to increase the national minimum wage, particularly given that the living wage is now €12.30, more than 20% above the minimum wage level. The increase in the earned income tax credit for the self-employed, while welcome, highlights the need to have a further conversation about the adequacy of PRSI payments for this group. And while the increase in the National Training Fund levy is welcome, there is no targeted approach to at-risk jobs. This is especially disappointing in light of the acknowledgement by government of the probability of job losses post-Brexit. And finally, in this section of the presentation, we come to sustainability. The Minister promised bold and new decisions to meet the defining challenge of climate change. He did not deliver them. While we welcome the increase in carbon tax of six euro per tonne, ring-fenced for specific climate-related expenditures explored later in this presentation, and the proposed appointment of a just transition commissioner, there was very little ambition in Budget 2020 to really tackle the cause of this issue. There was no move to introduce a levy on single-use coffee cups, and no exploration of the four billion in potentially environmentally damaging subsidies identified recently by the Central Statistics Office. No commercial air transport tax or circular economy package, and no real progress on retrofitting other than a limited pilot of social housing in the Midlands. Future generations deserve more. Other areas that affect your community. The following charts show a selection of allocations provided for in Budget 2020 that may be of relevance to you and your community, grouped under the six headings of the Vision for Community Wellbeing currently in development in PPNs across the country. Thank you.